Hello folks, tonight I am going after the Cave Nebula, and it seems like I haven't finished anything in a while, and the weather has been bad, but also I'm working on four objects at the same time, so <laughs> I'm not sure which one I'm going to finish first, but so far I've got 12 hours of HA done so far on the cave, uh, 7 hours of sulfur, and now I'm on um, oxygen, and I'm, I'm capturing data at um, gain 75, offset 15. I'm doing four-minute exposures now. That's that's my usual. Uh, the mean readout is 853. That's about normal for me, I think, with um, oxygen. And But I, I don't like this. Um, I don't see any data coming through after four minutes, so this is not going to be easy to work with. There was lots of sulfur data and lots of HA data, but um, we'll, we'll have to see after I stack this oxygen and see what it looks like. Uh, let's take a look at my guiding real quick. Guiding was pretty good earlier. Oh, there's a dither there. Let me uh, clear that out. I always look at this tote RMS here, 0.39, that won't stick. That's way too low for me. I'm usually higher. But it was in the 0.50 range, so earlier. And looks like it's holding pretty steady right now. 0.42. You guys almost never see my guiding when it's really good, because I always do these videos at a time when it seems like guiding is at its worst. But right now, yeah, this is pretty good. 0.53. I'll settle for that. And um, let me show you one of the other objects I was working on. Now, this object, <coughs> I already made it my screen background because I've got a little over five hours so far of the Helix Nebula. And this is not easy for me because it's only in view for me in the very low south, about maybe 25 to 27 degrees high at its best. So I only got about two hours a night to point my telescope at it. So this one's going to take a while for me to finish, but I like what I see so far with that HA. Five hours looks pretty dang cool. And uh, I will see you guys later. Alright, I am done and I can't believe I actually finished something. Hooray! Boy, the weather has been on and off lately, but somehow I managed to get in, I think around uh, 26 hours on this nebula. <laughs> I think I needed it too. Uh, let's see. I've got about 12 hours or so. I didn't add them all up yet, but I know it's around 12 hours or so on the HA, which is pretty strong as, as usual, what you would expect from HA. Uh, the oxygen was terrible. And uh, my friend Doug already warned me going in that, yeah, there's not much oxygen in this object. And you can see a trace of the cave here. And, uh, but it is what it is. That's seven hours, and that's all I could pull out. I, I probably could have just kept capturing more, but I, I just don't think it was worth it. I'm going to stop here and just, you know, make do with it. Um, and let's take a look at my sulfur. I had seven hours of sulfur, and sulfur was surprisingly pretty strong. I kind of expected both sulfur and oxygen to be bad, but there was a lot of sulfur in there, so that was good to see. And let me show you my combines. Now, I, I didn't run any background extraction on HA or sulfur, but as usual, I did run um, dynamic background extraction and even another automatic background extraction because I have that brightness around the edges of oxygen. Okay, let's, let's look at my combines now. So here is my first attempt at a combine. Um, I, I used the... SHO AIP script like I've shown in my other videos and what I did is I divided red between 60% sulfur and 40% HA and I divided green between 60% uh, HA and 40% oxygen and blue I put 100% oxygen in blue and this is what I had to work with and I'm thinking I tried to, to manipulate the colors, but it, it just wasn't easy to pick up one color from the next because to me, the whole thing looked yellow. I couldn't really separate it. I like to sort of um, use selective color in Photoshop. 
And so I tried another combine, let me show you. And here is my second combine. And like I said before, in case of emergency, <laughs> you know, when I when I don't have a lot of data in all three filters, it usually comes out like that. I can usually do better when I split the channels between different filters, but if I don't have strong data in each one, because I'm missing so much oxygen, it just doesn't look good. And so this is my last resort. On the combine, I just put 100% um, sulfur in blue. No, I'm sorry, 100% sulfur in red, 100% HA in green, and 100% oxygen in blue. And maybe I'm weird, but for me, the one on the left here is easier to work with than the one on the right, because this is obviously um, uh, green, which is easy to select on in Photoshop. Um, this is looks more like yellow, and the whole thing to me looks e kind of yellowish. But I could separate the one on the left. I could just separate and bring out the yellow here before, and make that stronger before I started working on the green and trying to move that over to a more cyan bluish color. And I've shown how to sort of go through some iterations, I think, in previous videos with selective color in Photoshop, but that, that's my main tool now for whenever I want to sort of work on the colors. I like Photoshop. And um, let me show you my final version. Ta-da! What, what do you think? And this is just going through multiple iterations in Photoshop. Um, I'm pleased with it, um, but it, what always happens with my videos is after I upload the video to YouTube, oh, why did I upload that? Because there's something I need to change or fix. Or, But <laughs> I make these videos so fast after I finish these targets that you never really see if it's changed again unless you look at my Astrobin account. But for now, I think I'm going to go with that one on the left. I think it looks pretty cool. It's not as sharp as I'd like to get it. I know this area here could have been sharper. The whole thing probably could have been sharper, but I have a lot of work to do in that area. Uh, it's hard for me to sharpen. Um, I, I'd like to learn how to do star removal altogether and then work on the nebulosity. But for now, I, I'm always having to hold back because I, I do... I don't remove the stars, and I, have, I worry about blowing out the stars if I try to sharpen anything. So, for now, this is what I got. Um, I don't know if this was very informative for you, but uh, uh, hopefully uh, you found something in it. And thanks for watching, and clear skies. I think there's more uh, clear skies coming my way tonight, so I'll probably be up late, and I will see you later.